Hi everyone, this is Engineering with Brian. I'm Brian, and in one of my last videos, I showed you guys how to make a dodecahedron by copying these extrusions and kind of rotating it around certain lines to uh, form a shape. And this is actually the exact regular dodecahedron I showed you all how to make. However, if I use a section view on the right plane, you can see that the inside of this dodecahedron is actually hollow. So I wanted to show you guys today how to make a kind of improved dodecahedron that is completely solid in the center. So if I show the planes here, and I use a section view, you can see that the inside of this dodecahedron is completely solid. Alright, so let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and create a new part of so just like before, I'm going to go ahead and sketch on the top plane. And I'm going to use an inscribed polygon and I'm going to be making a pentagon. Then I'm going to use the coincident command to make sure that this point is on this line. And then I'm going to go ahead and dimension the sides to be, let's do 25 millimeters. And then I'm going to draw a construction line here that I will use later. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a line plane on this line. And I'm going to set the angle to be 206.56505 degrees. And I'm going to hit confirm. I'm going to get rid of the extra planes. And before I sketch something on this plane, I'm going to go ahead and sketch on the front plane and draw a construction so uh, construction line, sorry, like so, so that I can uh, use the circular pattern command. So now I'm going to sketch on the first uh, plane one, and I'm going to make a another pentagon. So, I'm going to make sure that this point is connected here, and this point is connected here. And then what I'm now going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and use the circular pattern tool to make a feature pattern, and I'm going to make a circular pattern of sketch 3 around this axis, and I'm going to make the instance count. So, so now I have half of my half of my regular dodecahedron. I'm gonna get a, get rid of plane one, and I'm gonna hide the front. So now what I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sketch on the top plane again. I'm gonna hide the first circular pattern in sketch three. I'm gonna go ahead and click sketch. I'm gonna draw another pentagon. But this time it's gonna be a little different. This time I'm gonna be drawing another construction line from origin to one of its points. But I'm gonna make sure the angle between these two construction lines is. And then I'm going to basically be copying the same process I did before. But before I do that, I have to definitely remember to dimension sides to be 25 millimeters. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing by creating a plane, clicking on one of the sides, making sure that the angle is 206.56505. Actually, this time it might be 
90 degrees less. Alright. I'm gonna sketch on plane two, making another pentagon. Five sides, and making sure that these two points are on my original sketch. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and what I have to do. And, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make another circular pattern of sketch five around the axis with an instance count of five, like so. So now I'm basically gonna mirror this across a plane. And I wanna offset this plane perfectly so that when I mirror this, the two sides can come together to form that regular dodecahedron. So if I show the front plane, I'm gonna sketch on it, and I'm gonna draw two lines. So one line right here is gonna touch is going to be horizontally constrained with this point right here. And then another line I want to draw, I want to be horizontally constrained with this point there. So I'm going to go ahead and make these constraints. And then I'm going to be dimensioning them. So I want to find the average. So the average of the two distances and I'm gonna offset the plane by that much. So if I find the midpoint right here, I'm gonna dimension, find the dimension here, and it's gonna be 27.83791. I'm gonna copy that. So now I'm gonna create a plane, an offset plane, and I'm gonna offset it from the top plane by that distance. I'm gonna hide my other planes. So. so that's kind of what we want. It wants to be, I want it to be in the middle between these two points. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the mirror command and mirror the circular pattern. Sketch five and sketch four across this plane. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the second circular pattern, I'm going to hide sketch 4, and I'm going to hide sketch 5. But then I'm going to show sketch 1, sketch 3, and the circular pattern. And as you can see, we have a regular dodecahedron. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to use the fill command. If you don't see it, you can definitely go to search tools, and if you type in fill, you can see fill. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be kind of going through these sketches and clicking on the edges of these pentagons, like so. And then I'm going to make, use another fill command. I'm going to fill in this pentagon right here. And then I can definitely use a circular pattern, feature pattern of this fill command and then click on the axis, make the instance count 5, and apply for instance, and I have the whole top half filled in. What I'm then going to do is do the exact same thing for the bottom. Simply going through, clicking on the edges of the sketch, filling it in to make a surface, and then filling in one of these pentagons on the original circular pattern, confirming it, and then using a fourth circular pattern to fill in the rest of the shape. So once I make the instance count five and apply it for instance, and I hit confirm, I'm gonna get one whole part. And if I go through and hide all these sketches,
branches and planes. I have my dodecahedron. So if I use a section view right here, you can definitely see that this shape is completely solid. And just like before, if you want, you could definitely go through and fill up the sides, or you can keep it as it is. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.